Hi, welcome to this brief walkthrough of Plandeck. Plandeck is a cloud-based analytics platform that integrates with a number of the key development tools to ensure your teams have full end and visibility of their software delivery process. The environment we can take a look at today, which is Goldberg, our demo environment, um, is configured to show all the different metrics that you can have. However, our UI is fully customizable, so from the moment you start using Plandeck, we can help you create the interface that's most relevant for you and your teams. In the top right here, you'll see a date picker. You can view any of this data uh, in the last four weeks, 12 weeks, 26 weeks, or if you have a specific date range you want to look at, you can pick customize within this calendar view here. Let's cancel on that. On the left-hand side, you'll notice we have programs and projects. A project is a board in JIRA, and a program is a collection of different boards. So we can organize this interface uh, any way possible to ensure that it's reflective of your environment the best way possible. So let's take a jump into one of our projects. We'll go down to Grace. And on the left-hand side, you'll see a whole number of things open up. And I'll focus today on our dashboards, which are our um, six different categories of metrics that we have out of the box today. So if we jump into best practices, give you a good indication of what's available. Things, for instance, comments, commits without a pull request is very useful for a number of our clients today. Also commits without a ticket reference is very useful. Um, take a look at feature contribution. And this helps teams to help understand uh, and monitor how they're delivering value. Right, so what is our average story point per ticket? Um, what is our feature cycle time, our feature lead time? I will note that we're not fully dependent on JIRA. So since we can tr have that traceability between JIRA, your repositories, and your pipeline management tools, we can actually show you your true cycle time from the moment that idea is captured to the second it's deployed into production. Um, next one I'll just touch, on upon, touch upon here is our future flow efficiency. Uh, this helps teams to understand how much percentage of time tickets are spending being actively worked on as they go from idea to production. So for this one here, 23.1% of the time is being spent in an active state, i.e. it's not queuing up for QA or it's not waiting for a PO to sign off. Incredibly useful when trying to find one of the areas that we can focus on as a team to improve our efficiency and get things delivered faster. Um, upkeep which is a great view, um, principally focused on technical debt and bugs. So you can get a view of, again, how was our created bug, how many bugs have been fixed, what's our unresolved bugs age, so on and so forth. Um, some of these things you can get out of Jira, but actually where we feel the plan deck value is, is the fact that it gives you great historical data in terms of trends, which are much more difficult to capture. Um, with bugs as well, we've got bug cycle time and bug lead time, incredibly valuable, as well as the bug flow efficiency. Again, how do we get these bugs that are being identified to be worked on faster and get through the process faster so they're deployed into production. Um, next, we'll go into quality. So first time pass rate, return rate, we work some pretty standardized uh, metrics there. I will focus a moment on this one, which is called code churn lines. And this is one of our Git focus metrics, which does a line by line analysis of the repository. Um, this one in particular here is, you know, of the new code that is written, how much of that new code has had to be rewritten within 16 days. So if you see a spike there popping up, you might want to take a look um, and ask the team some questions, see if there's, you know, a highly unusual bit of complex functionality that teams are currently working on. Do we need to worry about that? Is there anything that needs to happen around you know, how that gets transitioned into production? Um, and so on and so forth. Teamwork is more focused on our collaboration. So you've got ways of being able to track pair programming, um, how people are helping out with each other and mentoring each other, um, commits in a pull request and collaborative lines. And then lastly, we've got our commitment and achievement. But I will actually jump into Sprint to show you that better because it talks a little bit about um, you know, as you're looking around at the Sprint, what's our target completion, etc. So this for me is probably the most valuable page that we have on Plan Deck for Scrum teams, at least. Um, and this helps you a team to understand, okay, well, of what we planned for this sprint, how much did we get done? What happened to it, right? So of these tickets that were incomplete, you can click through, as with any of our metrics, you can drill down, and you can see all of the individual tickets that were incomplete for this sprint. Um, if this was a live client environment, this JIRA reference would actually link through, so you can click through, it'll take you straight to the story, um, so you can get a little bit more information, understanding why it was incomplete. Um, same goes for work added. So of what was added during the sprint, what happened to it? Um, next, I'll focus on sprint scope. 
So very important for every Scrum team to have a good, strong understanding and control of the scope over the course of a sprint um, and why that's changing, right? So was it estimated after the sprint started? Was it re-estimated during the sprint? Was it removed from the sprint, right? And again, you can click through there and understand uh, which tickets were impacted by this and then go further and drill down into those and find out maybe reasons why. Um, and lastly, I'll focus on our sprint timeline. So Kanban boards are fantastic at helping you understand where things are currently, but not particularly great um, retrospectively in understanding how they evolved over time. That's where our sprint timeline report comes through. So it helps teams understand what was the general flow of our sprint, right? And so, you know, did we have any bottlenecks popping up um, at QA? You know, were there issues with us awaiting sign off from a PO? You know, some of the common things that we have with our clients today. Um, and with here, you can, of course, just click through. So let's say you want to understand, you know, those tickets that were in QA. Um, which ones were they? And then you can go through and click through into the end tier there and explore them further. Um, I will stop there today. Uh, if you would like to hear more, we'd love to hear from you. So please get in contact with us, with us and we will speak to you soon.